how do I use a plunger? Oh, 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 O'Brien. Today I want to give to you a tip that might save you a, a couple of hundred bucks a year, especially if you've got a wife with long hair like mine, or, uh, or a couple of kids that live in the house. Did you know you can go down to your local hardware store or, or Bunnings or plumbing supplier and purchase yourself a plunger? They're relatively inexpensive. And today I want to show you the best way to use them. With these two plungers, um, generally this one can be used in a toilet. Um, you do want to stand back a bit before you start sort of pushing down on it or you, you might end up with a face full of toilet water, which is not great. Um, this one here is better off used on sinks. Um, you want to make sure that the, the opening of the plunger there is, is bigger than the actual uh, drain hole because what you want to do is create a seal over that drain hole. So first of all, you start by pushing the plunger down over the opening. And what you'll see when you push down and depress hard enough is the air come out that's trapped inside the plunger. So the, the power stroke on the plunger is once you've pushed down and pushed that air out, you want to pull up as fast as you can. And what that does is it sucks the blockage up. And at the same time, or just after you've done that, push back down again. And normally those, those two strokes will clear a lot of soft blockages, especially like soap scum and hair. So hopefully that little tip gets you out of trouble. Um, and if you still got a problem after that, please give us a call at O'Brien Plumbing. We're happy to come out and take a look and see what we can do for you.